Hey friends, I am hoping that you can hear me because I'm on my headphones today. I am out taking my daily walk um, and the weather is absolutely awesome here in Colorado. I think fall has finally arrived. Um, but I wanted to pop on here and do a quick motivation minute. I'm going to do some more of these kinds of videos really quick. Um, and today I wanted to ask you what you would do in your life if you absolutely knew that you could not fail. And I don't really like the word fail. I like to reframe things, um, your failures as um, a learning opportunity. It just, it helps take some of that negativity out of it. And so I try not to view anything in my life as a failure. I try to view it as a learning opportunity that taught me something that will benefit me moving forward. Um, but I wanted to have you guys think about this. So really ask yourself the question, what would you do in your life if you absolutely knew that you could not fail? And the reason I want you to think about this is because a lot of times we all have dreams, we all have aspirations, we all have hopes and desires, but what happens is that we get stuck in this loop of thinking that we can't do it for whatever reason, X, Y, and Z. Um, so really take some time to think about it, what it would be like if you knew you could not fail at whatever it is that you wanted to achieve, and then pay attention to your beliefs and your feelings around that desire. So just sit with it. If you like to journal, you can um, write about it. If you like to, you know, be outside, you can think about it while you're taking your walk. Um, you can meditate on it. You can pray about it. Um, but really think about your beliefs around whatever the goal or the dream is that you have. And you'll probably start finding that the beliefs that you have about why you think you're going to fail are all being driven from a very um, fear-based place. Most of the time our fears around um, why we can't achieve something in life is driven from a fear, um, pl a place of fear. And that is human nature. And it is also just our ego trying to keep us safe. Our ego is there to kind of protect us, to keep us in our safe zone, to make sure that we don't stretch ourselves too far. And we have to just acknowledge that and say, hey, you know what? I appreciate my ego trying to keep me safe, but I am ready to really take it to the next level and implement whatever change or transformation, whatever it is in your life that you really, really want that you're not going for. So I would love for you guys to think about that this week and to really identify whether or not um, your fears of failure around whatever it is are legitimate, because I'm going to guess that probably 99%, if not 100% of the time, they're not really legitimate. They're just being driven from a place of fear and you can definitely work through that. So um, if you guys feel like sharing what it is that you would accomplish and you would do or you would transform in your life, if you could not fail, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below if you feel comfortable sharing. That would be awesome. If not, you can always email me or send me a direct message. I would love to hear what you guys are working on. Um, and just uh, hear if you guys have any revelations after you guys think about this and really determine whether or not your fears are based in fact or are just based in fear. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to go continue on with my walk. I just wanted to do a really quick video. Um, it was something that I was thinking about in my own life and I hope it's helpful for you guys. Um, I really would love to hear if it is or not. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a great rest of your day and a great um, week upcoming, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye, guys.